What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Bass Union. I'm out here in the shop in between pouring jigs and I want to take a few minutes to show you guys a little trick that I do that could save you a ton of money while you're on the water fishing. Before we get started with today's video, just wanted to remind you guys, for everything Bass Union, hats, apparel, jigs, A-rigs, if you like to catch big mamba jambas like we do, you can get it all at BassUnionFishing.com. So an old saying goes, you have to get to the fish to catch them. If you're not getting hung up, you're not catching the fish. As a big jig fisherman, I believe that saying 100%. I'm constantly looking at my graphs trying to find the transition between soft and hard bottom, rock, ledges, wood, any type of man-made cover, you name it, I'm putting my bait there. Because I know I'm bound to get hung up, I take the precaution to make what they call lure knockers. And this is something that has saved me hundreds, if not thousands of dollars throughout the years. And I'm gonna show you how to make one in less than a minute. So all we need are two things. First thing, is a snap. I like using these big ones because they're easy to open up. Second, I have a one ounce cannonball that I poured earlier today. You can find these just about anywhere. Super cheap. It doesn't have to be a cannonball. It could be a pyramid. It could be circle weight. I mean, it could be any type of weight as long as it has a closed eye that you can attach to. But I found that in a one ounce usually gets the job done. No need to get a two ounce, a three ounce. A one ounce usually will get it done. But what I do, is I'll take the snap, I'll open it up from both sides, and I'll loop it through. Close it off, and that's it. I'll stuff this in my pocket, and I'll have it ready to go throughout the day. So when I do get hung up, slide this weight down your line. And by the time it hits your bait, seven, eight times out of 10, it's gonna knock it free. This is a trick I've been doing for years and this saved me a ton of time and money and baits. Hope you can take it and apply it to your own fishing so you don't have to worry about getting hung up as well. If you guys like videos like this where I do some tips and tricks, maybe next time I'll take one of these molds and show you how to pour something. I don't know, comment down below. Let me know what you guys like to see. Uh, right now the boat's still out of commission. I'm waiting on the lower unit right now to uh, basically get replaced. It's pretty tough right now dealing with coronavirus or stuck at home. So trying to think of some fresh content for you guys to put out there. So if you guys like videos like this, let me know. I appreciate everybody that supports the channel by buying hats, apparel, gear, jigs, A-rigs. You guys are awesome. Hope you guys like the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We'll see you guys in the next one.